So welcome back and thank you so very much for joining. I still thoroughly appreciate the dedication. Thank you. Okay, why do you have to go outside? So, what's going on? It doesn't fit in. There's too much stuff. It's fucking bullshit. No more swearing. Okay, no more swearing. Sure. Like you're always polite. Come on, chill out. What did you pack in? What the f- Dude, you can't fit the whole room in. Don't worry. Your super strong big brother can help. <laughs> awesome. Thanks, Sean. Well, looks like we're almost set. Where's Mushroom? Oh, no. Still peeing, I guess? I'm gonna check what she's up to. <sighs> okay, I'll fill up our bottles and I'll catch up with you guys. Where are we supposed to fill our water bottles? Okay, all done. Where the hell is he? Oh no. Daniel! Daniel! Hey, you out here? Oh no. Daniel! Where is he? We have a two-day walk ahead of us. Better get going. Daniel, where are you? No, I have to find Daniel and Mushroom. Dude, what are you doing? What are they doing? We have to leave. Daniel! Okay, so he's not down here. It's so quiet. Hey, what are you up to? How can he not hear me? Dude, 
They definitely went into the forest. Get your ass over there. Fuck. Where the hell are they? Come on, Daniel. Let's go. So we think he went this way? There's blood. What the fuck happened here? Something's not right. That's not good. Oh, now I'm getting scared. I don't want to lose Daniel. And more blood. Daniel? <gasps> oh, shit. Daniel. Oh, no. Do not move. It killed her! She was my friend! Calm down, okay? Listen. Leave me alone! No! <laughs> Daniel, I'd rather it be Mushroom than you. Fuck. Daniel. I'm so sorry. I just... wouldn't have changed anything to kill it. I'm right here. It's all right. Here, you should do it. That's it. It's pointless. I can't even bury her. Well. Unless you want to say something. Uh, goodbye, Mushroom. You were such Aww. a good puppy. I'll always remember. Running through the snow with you. And how you... You snuggled. And... I'll never forget you. Never. Girl. Rest in peace. You won't be forgotten. Sean. 
Do you think she's up in heaven? With dad? <sighs> yeah. I'm sure he will look after her. Wait. What about his allergies? <sighs> Don't worry, Inanna. There's no allergies up there. They'll be fine together. Okay. We should go. It's getting late. Okay. Keep out wolves inside, really. Wish we didn't have to go. I'd like having a house again. Come on. Let's hit the road. What about my traps? Should we leave them up? <laughs> They'll protect the next runaways that stay here. I put both you in charge of the house mushroom. <laughs> so long, my dudes. Oh, so pretty. I'm gonna get caught. Boy, oh well. Another two day walk. Going through all the seasons.
end of the episode? No, okay, I was gonna say that was a little too short for an episode. <coughs> and his cock's back. We made it, Daniel. It's been a long time since I was here. When was that? Before you were born. Oh, we're grandma and grandpa's. Come here. Let me check you out. Claire likes everything super clean. Dad said she got pissed because he let me bring a snowball in the house. We don't want to look like total pigs. What if they went on vacation? Or, or something? We'll figure out something. Yes, we can do. I'm sorry, we don't want any of. Hello, Claire. Sean? Oh, my. Is that. Daniel? What's going on out here? I heard. Look who's here! After all this time. What the hell are you doing here? Stephen, watch your mouth. Well, it's kind of a long story. <coughs> oh, you poor thing. You know he's sick, right? Yeah, but. Okay, inside. Both of you. Oh, good. It's no safe in Grandma's house. At least I know we're safe. We're gonna get a nice warm bed to sleep in, and a shower, and a cup of coffee, or hot chocolate. Oh, I'm ready for fall, and it's still summer here. Hey, is it uh, warm enough for you? Oh, yeah. Feels nice and toasty. I gave Daniel some cough medicine, but you should have taken better care of him. He could have been worse. You were lucky. Stephen, may I talk to you for a second? A mistake coming here. Involve other people. Well, maybe he can help. Oh, shit. My, I'm so hungry, my belly hurts. Was killed. It's good to be inside. Finally. I just hope they let us. I remember that. I think it used to be in the living room. Feels so awkward to be here. You all right, honey? You want more tea? Thanks. I'm good. Uh, well, 
Sean, uh, do you want to talk about... Uh, the police called us a few weeks ago. They're looking for you as suspects in a homicide and for assault and robbery in a gas station? Now, if you want us to help you, did you hurt that police officer in Seattle? Seriously? You really think I killed that cop? No, don't, don't get mad. Sean, we have to ask. We only know what we saw in the news. All I know is that he shot dead. And now he's gone. Oh, sweetie. We are so sorry for what happened to your father. But why did you run away if you're innocent? I didn't want Daniel to see Dad. Like that. I felt like I had to protect him. I understand, but... You know the police would separate us. Maybe forever. Daniel would end up in foster care. You can't be sure, Sean. Anyway, at least you've managed to come here alive. We're glad you two are okay. I hate to think what could have happened to both of you. You need to think of long-term solutions now. I tried. I swear. But I can't do everything. So... What are your plans? Go down to Mexico, to Puerto Lobos. Dad has a family house there. Sean, you can't run away from the law like, like fugitives. How can you look out for your brother if you're both running from the police? You two are gonna stay with us. Oh, Stephen. Maybe we should... After your mother left, your dad never really wanted us in your life. I can't blame him. But you're still part of our family, and we want to prove it, okay? Seriously? That's... Really nice, Stephen. Thank you. Okay, but we have to lay down the rules of the house. No mess, no noise, or no service. The biggest rule is keep your heads low around here. Beaver Creek is small and nosy and nosy. We can stay? Serious? Awesome! Ooh, Sean! Guess what? There's a huge model train upstairs. Hey, you're supposed to be resting, young man. <laughs> yeah, yes he is. But he seems better already. Anyway, you and Daniel will stay here. At least until Daniel's better. We'll see what happens next. So, I bet you're hungry. Let me fix you something. How do you feel, Superwolf? Way better. It's nice and warm in here. And the food? Yum. Yeah. Feels good. Feeling better? You look cozy. Yeah. 
I love that bed. Mm. Thanks, Grandma. Good. Your temperature is down. I'm way better now. You still need to take it easy. How about if we say a little prayer and, and give thanks? It's like a bedtime story, right? Well, this is a bit like this, yes. Except the story comes from up there. <laughs> the ceiling. <laughs> so are we ready to pray? Just follow my lead. Sure. We need all the help we can get. Can you ask the blessed dad? And Sean. Um, and Mushroom. And you and Grandpa. And, uh, everybody else. Oh my, you are Sorry, so you sweet. Sorry, you guys are the dog howling. Thank you, and the dog barking again. for bringing Sean and Daniel safe and sound into our house. Take care of Esteban and uh, Mushroom. Please give us the strength to get over the hardships of the past and the trials yet to come. Amen. 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 Sorry if you guys hear the dog. Okay. It's bedtime. Try to get some rest. You still need it. And no roughhousing in here. No worries. We're too tired. Good night. Oh, and thanks again. Good night, Grandma. It feels so nice to have a bed again. And the bathroom. I hear that. <laughs> Plus you don't smell anymore. Whatever. Well, Claire seems pretty caring. And nice. I guess Steven is too. I hope we'll be fine here. I think so. And the more important thing is you'll have time to get better. Sean, are we in Mom's old room? Nah, I don't think this is the one. Not from what I remember. But it's been a while. Could we check it out tomorrow? Maybe find some of her stuff? Why would you want to do that? I just don't know anything about her. Daniel, so they want to know I understand. About their mom. But we need to focus on where we are now and where we're off to. Mom left us. She made her choice. We gotta make ours. And we can't keep going back. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, I guess. Hey, man. You've been doing so great with your, well, you know. I was wondering, how do you do it? Uh, I don't know. I concentrate and it just happens. She's so, strong. it makes you feel strong? Special and mighty. I don't think that. I don't know how I feel. Why are you asking? Never mind. Just curious. Forget I asked anything. Anyway. Remember the rules, right? We really don't want Claire or Stephen to start asking questions. I know, I know. Don't show, don't talk. Just keep that in mind, and everything should be fine. Sleep tight, little cub.
I could sleep all day long in this bed. But I'm way too hungry. Get dressed before you go, dude. Claire thinks breakfast is like a job interview. Can't believe we actually spent a month out there by ourselves and survived. Pretty badass. Okay, where are my clothes? All right. I'm allowed to go out now. Sean! Finally! Sean, are you awake? Breakfast's almost done, so come down when you're ready, okay? Okay! Careful! Tunnels ahead! Hold your breath! Oh my, look who's awake. Good morning. Daniel, mm. breakfast time. Your brother is ready. <sighs> Grandpa's showing me your box car. Steven, your grandson needs to eat now. You can <laughs> show him the box car later. I love how they're getting along. Do you need help or anything? She needs help oh, in the kitchen. Don't worry. I can do this in the dark. <laughs> but thanks for the offer. All right, all right. Are you boys done playing? We had a express delivery with the passengers. But the engine broke down. Yep. Has to go straight to the workshop. Good. No trains in the kitchen, remember? Gotcha, Chief. Choo-choo! Ah, <laughs> oh, sugar. He can fix his trains, but not my kitchen. Did I make enough? Everything's okay? It's great, as usual. You're the best cook ever. Looks like you're getting cozy with this new country life after all. Yeah, it's nice to be far away from everything. Feels like we're the only ones out here. Well, that's exactly why we love it. It feels safe, unlike the big city. I get it. I like it. It's cool here. Well, bless your soul. You'd get along good with our neighbors. We try to lend a hand, like to Charles next door. He lost his wife, and things have been hard on him and his son. He would just get lost in Seattle. But we're all taking care of him here. How old is his son? I, I think he's your age. Ooh, cool. Tell Grandma thank you. on back there nothing oh and I thought Stephen was a fast eater hey grandma I wanted to ask you something about that locked room upstairs I told you there is nothing to see in it Daniel 
Why were you in it this morning, then? Because there's a lot of old junk in there. And besides, it's not safe for you to explore, okay? Oh, we'll be fine. Daniel, just drop it. Why don't you go explore outside? You sure look like you're getting better. Get some fresh air. I'll wait for Sean, and then we'll go. We won't be left. Promise. But be careful nobody sees you. Stay in the back, okay? Maybe you should tell him that it was Karen's room. It's just a room now, Sean. Nothing to see. Um, Daniel. Brian Daniel doesn't need Why to know. Why lock it then? He doesn't need to know. It feels like you're hiding something. There's no secret. We okay, just shush, move on with our lives, Sean. So nobody goes in the room, okay? I'm serious. Did mom ever contact you? She only talked to dad a few times. Then she was gone. Yes, she was. You know, Sean, I don't really want to talk about this anymore. It's over. Anyway, you have to respect my rules under my roof, okay? Of course. of course. Always. I appreciate that, Sean. Now you better go find your brother. There's a shed with some old toys outside. I'll bet Stephen has the key. Tanya will freak. Thank you. Cool, let's go get that key. Better catch up with Steven and get those keys. <laughs> Daniel's going nuts in here. I thought it was upstairs. It's so good to be safe at last. Hmm. Where's Grandpa? Is it? Oh, shoot. I don't... Why can't I find Grandpa? Hmm. There's Grandpa. Think I need a handy assistant. Can you hand me the glue in the cupboard? Whoa! Careful. Sorry, I I forgot. That thing isn't too stable. Let me just. Uh, okay. Sorry. My fault. Your grandmother keeps telling me, but uh, I'm a lazy old man. Hey, uh, can you close the door? I want to. Talk for a second. Oh. Uh, it's the power cable, of course. Yeah, it happens all the time. So, listen, I've uh, noticed things with Daniel. You know what I'm talking about, don't you?
Um, not really. What things? Well, I, I'm not sure how to put it. Like, some kind of invisible force. Like the holy gift or something. Um, yeah. Daniel likes to pretend he's got superpowers, but that's it. That's it? Okay. But be careful, Sean. You know, he's still so young. Sure. I will, don't worry. And by the way, let's keep this between us. Claire has a lot of strong beliefs. She wouldn't understand. Well, no, she would not. She adores Daniel and just wants both of you to be safe and happy. What I'm trying to say is maybe you should stay here with us. I know you boys plan to run to Mexico, but... Thanks. Maybe we could, but... Why not? I know being out here in the sticks with us old farts isn't exciting, but this is your home now. It's cool. Kind of different, but... I just don't want you to get into trouble because of us. It's dangerous to be on the road. Do you think your father would have wanted this for his kids? Different of course not. But everything's different now. I know. I know. Well, just think about it. But don't torture yourself. I will. Hey, uh... Claire said you had the keys for the tool shed? Oh, uh, sure. <clears throat> Here. You guys enjoy the sun. And be careful with that shed. It's probably a mess inside. Thanks. It's good to see you in my lair. You know, you were... Ah, oh, there you are, Sean. Got the key? Hey. I have to go out and run some errands. Can you do me a big favor? Do you know how to work a washing machine? Since I was about eight. Of course. Can you throw in yours and your brother's clothes after the next load? They're in the bathroom basket. Totally, yeah. Um, no problem. Thank you so much. <laughs> Feel free to start tidying your stuff, too. It's good for the health to keep a house clean. Definitely. Daniel can help. Ah. And remember, for your own safety, no phone and no internet. I know, I know, boring rules. Don't worry, Claire. Hey, Daniel! There's work for you. Uh, no. I'm busy. D busy my ass. Come over here. <laughs> you gotta find me first. <sighs> Jeez. You know I'm gonna find you. What's even the point of having so much crockery? Hey, um, have you seen Daniel? He's hiding somewhere. <laughs> Running away from chores. I can relate. Sorry, Sean, he's, he's not in here. I swear. Yeah, well, thanks.
あ,あ I get that he's sick of all this shit, but... <sighs> It's been locked ever since we got here. And I kind of don't give a fuck. <sighs> Better not sneak in. They won't like it. Come on! I need help! Can't believe it. Gotta do the laundry first. I don't know when Daniel will be able to go back to his school. Where the hell is he hiding? Hey, you can come out. I'll do it myself. Here you are. Thanks for nothing, dude. I'm too young to do the laundry. Correction, you're too old to be a little brat. <laughs> Not yet. Time to take care of that laundry. <sighs> Thanks, Claire. <sighs> 